Hi, everybody. Anthony Everett here. Tonight on Chronicle, a story of struggle and redemption for both a best-selling author and the city where he grew up. Ted Reinstein introduces us to author Andre Debus. So this is all, I mean, this looks significantly different. Oh, yeah. It's, it, it, it's a lovely town now. It's, it's, yeah. it, it's very nice to see. It yeah. kind of mirrors for me the changes I've gone through. Isn't that interesting? No, I've gotten that better. Andre Debus III, best-selling author of, among other works, House of Sand and Fog, has changed quite a bit since he roamed these streets as a teenager in the 1970s. Then again, his hometown of Haverhill has gone through some changes of its own. See the plywood up there? That's what it all used to look like. All the plywood windows. Yeah. That was much more the look. And so many of these buildings are just empty. Today, Washington Street is alive with bistros and public art. But the Haverhill Debus describes in his new memoir, Towny, was a dark and dispirited place, shuttered factories, empty storefronts, short on hope, long on violence. My first fight when I became a fighter was in this, this, was this bar room. A punched kid, the guy in the mouth, right? A kid had pushed, a guy had pushed my brother down the stairs and I, it's the first time I fought back and I knocked his teeth out. It would be a signature moment for the 17-year-old Debus, who'd always considered himself a coward. Also tonight, Ted introduces us to some of Haverhill's best-kept secrets and finds out more about how Andre Debus went from street brawler to best-selling author. Hope you'll join us tonight for Townie on Chronicle at 730.